All right, so uh, this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Moon, and as well a uh, Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 9th to uh, March 15, 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a, a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So moving straight away to the Capricorn readings here, the first card which stands for the topic of your week Capricorn is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Do we have a glare over cards? No, we don't. Okay, perfect. So uh, standing next, uh, we do have the energies which are feeding up the topic. That is going to be the Death card. Oh my God, that will be such a good week for you guys, uh, just from those two cards. Uh, moving next, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is to be the Queen of Pentacles. After that, uh, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and becomes better and better here with the Ten of Cups. Uh, afterwards, uh, what we do have, it is uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is going to be the impression of the uh, Queen of Cups. And the last one, uh, which stands as the guidance that Taro is offering to you, that is to be the uh, Seven of Wands. So, uh, an amazing week. That is because whatever you have fought for, um, it's finally going to give results. It's, um, oh, this is what the card shows. So uh, moving forward here uh, with uh, the first couple of cards, we do have the energies of the death that leads to the Four of Pentacles as the situation. So death as the energy, it does point that whatever it's a waste, and whatever it is in flux into your life that, dr that dramatically need changes. I mean, you can't stand it having it around anymore because it's just a predicament. It's just an obstacle for you to develop in career, to develop in relationship. Uh, if you will, that could be uh, the ex-girlfriend or the ex-boyfriend that constantly is bothering you and allowing you to move forward with your romantic life. Or uh, it, it is some sort of a, a predicament from your previous job that is not allowing you to enter into a new one gone it's just these predicaments are gonna be no longer and uh, the death here points that uh, those things are to be replaced with a new life that takes place into your own personal life what i mean is that death is change and what is change if it is not one thing starts its life while the other while life is ending and what is that life if it isn't a, a death pending right so uh here the energies points that everything is the turn turnover or a turnaround everything comes and goes and as you have been through for example a bad period of time because this is what those cards are pointing because right now we do have a good period of time that time came and now it's time to go okay and you are to release it that will mark a new chapter in your life if you will because that's that all about a new chapter if you observe the card here one emperor falls down but the empire still standing because another takes its place so if that regards to previous uh, breakup that uh, you had, you these cards are pointing that you are to be completely healed from it and you are going to have an eagerness to secure your future in that regard, meaning to start, for example, dating again or not to allow that thing to happen again to you any longer or in generally or, or in, ge uh, in generally to get a grip over your life and not allow to kind of like fluctuate downwards in a such a way uh, any longer moving forward into the future which is exactly what the four of pentacles is i mean whatever the bad thing is replaced with will allow you to ensure a secure future for yourself and for your family for yourself and for your relationship as well for yourself and for your career for your money and for your entire life and that's why the week is fantastic for you guys it just points that the bad times are gone over and that happens throughout this week um march 9th to march 15th uh, 2020 um another thing i want to touch on with the death card and the energies sometimes uh death uh, kind of manifests itself uh in a topic or in a field sneeze alert by the way i may sneeze oh my god 
yeah, it manifests uh, in a uh, topic or a field in your life that uh, you don't want to go, you, you don't want that thing to go. For example, um, a, a job that your boss doesn't count you for anything, but you love the job you do. However, you have to consider that it's not the only company in the world that can offer you that job, all right? And that's why you have to consider the option to just let it go and try to find a similar position or the same position, but in another company, which you will have no problem whatsoever looking at those cards. Abusive relationship. You love the person that you are with, but that relationship cannot work because you get abused by that person, right? So you can have a similar similar relationship from a standpoint of happiness but without the abuse and you just need simply need to kind of stand for yourself and let this one go it's um it's as simple as that so what i'm trying to say here is that the symptoms which the um, manifestation of ensuring your secure future are to happen doesn't necessarily have to be very pleasant symptoms but that is sometimes the, um, the the price that you have to pay to have the opening of a new chapter into uh, into your life. Uh, moving next here, it is uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome, and that is a person that it is urging you to stick around and not to allow that change to happen because they try to they are going to try to convince you that you still have what to gain from it. I mean, from the current endeavor that no, no longer serves you any purpose. Um, that could be the, the manager that is trying to convince you to stay, although you see that your boss doesn't give a damn about you, doesn't give a, a thing for your work, does not appreciate you and has no intention whatsoever to raise your job. That could be the, uh, the father of your girlfriend say that if you are in an abusive relationship or the mother of your boyfriend that are trying to convince you to stay because you see, you aren't going to find anybody better around. Well, guess what? You will. Uh, yes, you will. So uh, it's very important here as a challenge not to budge under the convincing stories that that Queen of Pentacles is going to give you. How good you can become if you stick around and, and how happy you can be only if you neglect the fact that you get abused. Right. It's, it, it sounds ridiculous. But you are to be amazed how many people are actually, um, how can I say it, a, uh, catching the bait in these, kind of, uh, in these kind of situations. As a matter of fact, isn't that a common trend that actually the victim is, ma is, is made to feel guilty for the situation that the abuser is creating? Right. I mean, that, that's a common trend in our um, in our society, which is really sad. It's I don't think that anybody deserves to be um, manipulated, but emotionally abused and uh, so on and so forth. I, I do believe that only people that wants to uh, that, that, that does not have control over their lives are trying to establish control over somebody else's. And it's kind of sad that they are allowed to do so. But anyway, so um, you got to know better. That's my point, that you shouldn't allow anybody to convince you other way around, other way around if you identify that that, that, that is it's done. Okay? And you have no place whatsoever into that situation any longer because you are deprived in there in one or another way. Uh, moving next is going to be um, the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy. And that will be the gift and the blessing of the Ten of Cups. So uh, it's conditional card. And that is only if you allow that new chapter to take place. You, you allow the, um, the waste to just go away, the, the, the flux into your life to no longer be there. And that uh, card points that you are to be gifted with a, a feeling of liberty a feeling of uh, like heartness as well a, a feeling of that the best is yet to come which is uh true in that particular case because you are gonna well basically you are gonna be gifted with the feeling that you are to feel alive once more and that your the whole uh, the whole pleasant experience of life in generally it's in front of you and you are meant to um, experience it in general additionally to that uh, ten of cups this card also gifts you with awareness 
that you can be even happier than what you are to find initially once you reach the state of liberty. Okay, and uh, it's uh, it falls to you to decide how you want to do it. That's that's the best of the card. That it has no restrictions, no constraints, nor a, a pick pointed a direction what you want to do with your life and how you want to expand and spur out on the life itself. And you get to decide from there. But as thus far in this week, as soon as you kind of like reach that uh, break point of that, you finally re liberate yourself from, um, uh, for example, unshared love, once again, a, a, a futile uh, career path and so on and so forth. You actually need to take the time to enjoy the sense of liberty before you decide how you want to proceed forward. Moving next, uh, we do have uh, how the people are going to look at you, how the people are, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. And that is the impression of the Queen of Cups. And actually, people were going to see you as a, someone who finally is kind of following or uh, um, not admiring, but giving an expression to their feelings. And now feelings are different than emotions. OK, uh, that is a very thin line here. And I will try to explain you how it plays. So you can love someone as much as you like, for example, but that person may make you feel bad. So emotion, love is emotion while situational kind of like a state it's feeling so you following your feelings therefore you are walking away from that what makes you feel bad regardless of are you loving it or not this is what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around why because they're going to see that you understand where the depravity as much as you have it because you may not have it it may not be that uh, expressed in your life the depravity is, is coming from and you are determined not to be bereft any longer in your life in general but instead from now only to follow nurture and cherish the feelings of your heart because this is the true way how you are to find yourself transformed therefore you do not um, connect with people that you do not like and you don't do things that doesn't make you happy and uh, last one here is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the seven uh, of wands into that particular uh, position. It's tightly related, by the way, to the challenge. Uh, the, the seven of wands here points that you need to find the strength within to resist temptation and to resist kind of like a uh, exterior influence as well, which the Queen of Pentacles appears to be in one or another way. Once again, that could be... Um, the exterior influence of the father of your girlfriend or the mother of your boyfriend that is trying to convince you to stay around or to stick around and you have to find the strength within to resist it because um, nobody can do it instead of you unfortunately and uh, the other thing about the seven of wands it is that even if you don't see anything um how can i say it anything to move around as soon as you reach your points of liberty throughout the week it doesn't mean that this is going to be for the entirety of your life here because the seven of wands is very specific card in the sense of that there is a right moment and right timing uh, not right right moment and right place where the things take place uh, where the things are happening so <clears throat> it is just urges you to have a little bit more faith that the good things are hanging in hanging in the void and are waiting for their time to come around and the only condition for them to happen is you to be free so that my friends capricorns it is uh, the culmination of your battle for freedom here is what we do have throughout this week um, and liberation from the bad and bad bad feelings that you are experiencing whatever the source of those bad feelings is and i wish you best of luck of it all that it takes for you is to resist once again the exterior influence in the, te the temptation of the queen of pentacles so hopefully you are going to find the inner strength to do so and uh, I hope you have enjoyed the reading. And once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can decide what kind of a version of a reading you want. And depending on your version of reading, uh, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours upon uh, purchase to uh, let you know how your reading is going to take place. Hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.